John and Rachel from the Jag Off fam. This week we are jagging around with. I'm going to let you take it. Do it right. Bastard, bearded, Irishman. You got it. When we're, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have I have a crowd taped to my wall. Behind. Okay, <laughs> I have to tell you guys this. So I'm on a school board, and uh, my kids would be laughing because they say I start that with every conversation. But I literally left the meeting, and my superintendent was talking to me, and I said, "I have to go. I have a meeting with." And they they went, "Oh, we'll go." I said, no, you're right. I just have oh, to really. Go. That's cool. Yeah, That's yeah. Good to know because we're totally against education of all. <laughs> yeah, we hate education. What are you guys doing to really keep your craft going? You know, basically where we just get on Zoom calls with each other, run in place for an hour, and take shots of beer. It's just an excuse for us to drink together when we can't yeah. actually drink together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you, and you know, my mother always said you don't drink alone. So as long as you're on a Zoom with your friends, I think it's safe. Right. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> we will say that that's true. Yes. That no, sounds good. No one in this meeting has ever drank by themselves. I promise you that. <laughs> so, and that leads, before we started recording, we asked you guys, when is the last time you guys have all been together? It's been a year. Yeah. It's yeah. literally been one. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. So Saint almost, almost a yeah. year. So our last show was right before St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so the the parade day at like we that's our big show the the night of the parade last year that got canceled at the Rex like the Rex canceled and then all these other shows were canceling and it was parade day and the city of Pittsburgh was still they're like you know the mandate goes in effect on Monday so <laughs> Kila Cowboy was like hey guys we'll pay you whatever you want if wow. you play, if you come play for these drunk people like 15 drunk yeah. people yeah so, so it was like playing on the titanic going down like oh man you know? oh yeah we were that band playing as the ship sinks yeah it's up. unfortunate and i don't want to get dismal but a lot of venues have closed down across this country yeah that we'll never see again you know so you know those people are all out of work and you know any way to help them you know and the entertainers are suffering the fans are suffering i mean without the fans we can't get you know beer money you know? <laughs> right. like not only the entertainers but but still it's like the sound guys and all yeah. those people yes. like the lighting people yeah. and that's a lot of those jobs are cash only so it's mm -hmm. like it's really hard to claim or like to file for unemployment so it was really like those people took it very, very hard. You guys never really intended to become this, right? This was sort of like a one-time, hey, let's do this. Oh, this would be fun. Yeah. And now here we are. An old band, uh, Ragweed, it was a you know high school, middle school band. Uh, our really good friend, George Evans, he, he died in a car crash. He was our guitar player. So we started this thing, uh, you know, uh, right around Saint, um, Thanksgiving time every year, we do a, we do a um, benefit concert. And uh, you know, we let his mother choose who who the who the proceeds go to. Sure. And um, about well, I I, I want to say almost six years six years or so into doing that every year, uh, I just asked. Uh, it was it was just Stoker and a, and a few guys. It was like you guys want to do like three stupid you know just ridiculous Irish songs. You know, we'll we'll, we'll pick some funny drinking beer 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 kind of songs and uh and yeah, it's just boom like lightning hit that night and then it was like let's do this again and then let's write a song and yeah. then you know just let's record and it just rolled you know our, our old bassist was hey uh we need a stupid name ben bastard bearded irishman we're like that's the stupidest name you could have come up we'll go with it and then, <laughs> you know it just kind of rolled into that um or. On St. Patrick's Day, what are you guys all drinking? What's your favorite? Does everybody do the same? Do you have a traditional drink for the group? Well, uh, Jameson. Dad's folks, folks person, yeah. Answer if we didn't say, Jameson, we love you. <laughs> yeah, Jameson. <laughs> Jameson. It, it, Ryan, why are you shaking your head now? You said no. Ryan. Me? Yeah, did you no, say no? No, no, no. It's all just right. because 
it has destroyed me. You know? <laughs> yeah. being, being in a band that is sponsored by Jameson has turned me into, you know, yeah. less than what less than my potential. You know, <laughs> Rachel is a car bomb person. I so. love a car bomb. Oh, I, love car- I like. Uh, I love a car bomb too. Free is what I like. What's that? Free. Free. Yeah, free. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. I was going to say, I, I, I like a McBastard, which is Jameson in a Shamrock Shake. Yeah. Oh, oh what? That's a good one. Right. Great. Where'd that come from, Sean Paul? That came from you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think oh. it was radio. It was, it was at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, that came from you at 9 o'clock in the morning on DVE. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> it is really good. So we want to talk more about your virtual show, but we have a little bit of what we call our rapid fire. There's nothing rapid about it. But we just kind of do these like fun comparisons because we're old and it's not rapid. So do you guys accept the challenge? No, I get yep. it. I get right. it. Sure. <laughs> no, I get it. In the meantime, let's tease. Be when this is over, we are going to talk about you can get VIP tickets to your virtual show That's and uh, and watch it next on the Wednesday the seventeenth. So, anyways, here's the rapid fire. All right. So coming off of the Shamrock Shake talk, do we go Shamrock or Four Leaf Clover? Shamrock. Shamrock. Good question. Good, good question. Traditionally, oh, good question. Traditionally, shamrocks have been used. Uh, you know, that's the symbol of Ireland. Obviously. Yes. yes. Uh, the clover actually has to have three leaves to be considered a shamrock. So uh, a clover, you know, ha- can have more or can have less. But, uh, shamrocks. All shamrocks are clovers. Not all clovers are shamrocks. Uh-huh. Wow. That's well, that was really nice. And who and said we weren't doing case. this for a long time? Yeah. <laughs> Irish jig or Irish setter? Setter. Jig. Danny. I'd like to see an Irish setter do an Irish jig. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boom. Guinness or I will pass? Guinness. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Ryan, you keep giving me this face like, like <laughs> anything alcohol related. I, I, we're not connecting. I think you're mad, but apparently you're just like bring it on. <laughs> this is the first meeting we've been on with Ryan where he can actually speak from. <laughs> morning or slancha? Slancha. 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 It depends on I've never life. said top of the morning ever in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I do it when I want to piss my boss off. You know? Corn beef or shepherd's pie. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't Ooh. even have that on here. Wow. I like that's really Shepherd's hard. Shepherd's pie. Mm. It depends on who makes it, I guess. Yeah, no, okay. right? It's true. That's great right. point, Jim. I'm going to say corned beef, and I'm, I, I want to tell you guys why. Why? We okay. played, um, every year oh. we play, <laughs> we play this. Oh, my uh, God. John, or uh, Robbie Burns Supper, uh, which is like a Scottish thing. We play one in New Jersey, right? They have us almost every year. And uh, they always feed us. And one year they gave us these, like, individual shepherd's pies. And uh, I ate like a whole shepherd's pie before we went on stage and drank yeah. a bunch of beers. Who told and, you? <laughs> uh, I felt horrible the next, the whole van ride home on like the next day. I felt absolutely horrible and ended up stopping like, okay, guys, I'm going to be sick. We had to stop. And then uh, we stopped at a rest stop and like I took a minute. I thought I was going to be sick. And then I let out like, <laughs> the loudest, hottest burp anyone's ever let out. And then suddenly I felt oh, better. Like, dude, you just opened up another dimension. <laughs> it was like someone sounded one of those big horns. Like, right. <laughs> uh, the most interesting statistic about you, you've thrown up more than every other member in the band. <laughs> That's not true. It's only I'm just like better twice. at hiding it. It's only like twice. It. I refuse to believe in 10 years. That's the most. I, I fell Ryan, you're like first month in the band. You vomited in someone's yard and put bay. It was awesome. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I fell asleep ever. in a in a yard in someone's front yard, and Dan was like, <laughs> "Hey, buddy, what are you doing? What's your worst road vehicle you guys ever had as a band? What's the the nastiest? Road? Every single one. <laughs> no, this is this is a real story. Seven years yeah. ago. Uh, seven years, eight years ago. We always had, we've always had a Dodge um, carav- uh, conversion van. Beautiful, like, you know, the comfy big seats and, uh, you know, it was great. And um, one time we were playing in uh, Ohio, I think, what we were playing in with. Uh, yeah, I think we it were. It was Ohio, I don't remember where. Uh, we were driving back and uh, 
It was early in the morning. We stopped at McDonald's. I remember because I had an orange juice, little orange juice. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, we see smoke pouring out the, from in the rear view, and they're like, "That's not. That's nothing abnormal because we're used to breaking down." And uh, you know, so pull over slowly, getting out all groggy eyed. I get down under the under the engine, and there's a fire. And the first thing I could think to do is take my little orange juice and throw it on the fire. How's that been? <laughs> Dude, yeah, so this is the van. So I have pictures, but this is like the van we're talking about. Okay, we see so, it. This is the mystery I'll, machine. <laughs> yeah, so, it was a sweet ride, like super sweet. So, so it, it, it became apparent very immediately that this fire wasn't going out. And it yeah. just started consuming. Oh, orange juice didn't do the trick, huh? <laughs> no. So I, I remember. Flammable. Did you know that? That's not. I thought it might be, yeah. So the thing is, I remember looking under, like he was like, oh my God, there's smoke. And then we all get out and look under the van and there's a f like f droplets of fire, yeah. like just dripping and creating a fire puddle underneath. <laughs> and Jim was like, Whoa, like just threw his orange juice on it. <laughs> I'm a paramedic, not a fireman. Dan wasn't with us. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> So yeah, it, it started to consume the video. There we go. Can you see that a little bit? Okay. Yes. How and come there's... I've never seen his pictures, Danny? You've never seen them? No. I don't know. So yeah, it's like totally. Oh my God. Yeah. Fun for. And the, yeah, the weird thing was like hearing the windows pop and then hearing, and then hearing the, uh, the tires pop. What do we do? How do we listen? How do we see? How can we partake? Help? What's going on? So we're doing an hour stream on St. Patrick's Day at 7.30. It <laughs> yeah, is. And, the, and the hour stream, hour. Okay. The hour the stream hour. includes a VIP, which is a, you can kind of drink virtually with you guys. So yeah. So the just the stream is $15, five, yep. 7.30 to 8.30. Yep. Um, but do, if you do the VIP, which I believe is 85 It is. You get the stream plus a half hour uh, pregame with us. Plus an hour, I believe, uh, after the show, just to hang out and drink on Zoom with us. Plus you get a merch package. Yep. Plus you get a take and bake meal from Piper's Pub. That is so yes. Sean yeah. Paul. Sean yeah. Paul knows it all. Because <laughs> I'm, exactly. I'm only on my second beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody else is like laying down. Well, here's the thing. Where do we buy them at, Sean? Yeah. How do we get uh, a hold of buy them? Stuff? You can buy them online. You can find the link on our Facebook page. On your Facebook page. Yes. Uh, I believe on our Instagram as and well. The, the funds do go back to the staff at the Rex Theater, right? A portion of the proceeds go to the. Uh, oh, yeah. And, so um, great. Yeah. And I love that you refer to yourselves as bastards. I do that. <laughs> I mean, bastards. I mean, if you got to know us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where does everybody find you? Website, social media, all that good stuff. Masterbeardedirishman.com. Um at Bastardbearded Irishman. Yeah. No. Easy. Yep. You yeah. enter Bastard Bearded Irishman, you will find us. <laughs> in yeah, Google yeah. search bar. In fact, if you enter any combination of the words bearded, bastard, yeah. and Irishman, you'll find us because nobody ever gets it right. <laughs> it's kind of like in Pittsburgh. You just box it. It's bastard bearded. It's Irishman bearded. Absolutely. It's like the lottery. You right. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that doesn't work is blasted beardish Iron Man. <laughs> 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 <laughs>